Hello everyone. Today we're going to read Peppa Pig, Beep Beep, Brum, George's Noisy Vehicle Book, with five amazing sounds that we will be all hearing from. And of course, this will be from your favourite character, George Pig. So let's not waste any more time and just jump straight into it. Peppa and her family are going for a picnic in the countryside. Hooray, cries Peppa. I love picnics. George loves picnics too, but he wants to stay at home and play with his toys. Cheer up, George. We'll have a lovely day, says Daddy Pig, beeping his horn. Beep, beep, giggles George. He likes their noisy red car. Off they drive down the hill. But what's that noise? Is it? Mr Zebra's post van. We're stuck in a traffic jam, says Mr Zebra. Oh dear, says Daddy Pig. This isn't a good start. Honk, honk, laughed George. At last, they're on the move. But what's that noise? Is it? Mr. Bull's digger. Moo, you have to wait, bellows Mr. Bull. We're digging up the road. Not another delay, cries Mummy Pig. Dig, 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 laughs George. At last, Mr. Bull is finished and off they go. But what's that noise? Is it a fire engine? You have to wait while I put out this fire, shouts Mrs. Sheep. Nina, cries George, bouncing up and down in the back seat. At last, the fire is put out and off they go. But what's that noise? Is it a train? Daddy Pig has to stop while the train whizzes past. Choo choo, laughed George. Can we go home for our picnic? asks Pepper. What a good idea, says Mummy Pig. But George doesn't want to go home. He's loved seeing all the noisy vehicles. Cheer up, George, says Peppa. You'll be able to play with all your noisy toys. And he does. Wow, what a wonderful book we have read today. I'm sure you all would have loved this book. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and check out all our other books too. So for now, see you next time. And thanks for watching till the end. Today we are going to read Peppa Pig, Peppa's super noisy sound book with 18 fantastic sounds that we will be exploring all together. So, shall we start reading? Pepper's Super Noisy Sandbook. <laughs> it's a very rainy day. Pepper and Georgia are in their house. We are going to have a quiet day inside, says Bobby Pig.
Oh, says Pepper and George disappointed. Peppa and George love going outside to play. Ho, ho. Cheer up, you two, smiles Daddy Pig. You can help me mend the kitchen cupboard. Kitchen cupboards are boring, says Peppa. I don't like my rain. He he snort giggles George Just then the telephone rings It's Miss Rabbit Rebecca Rabbit's mummy Can Rebecca and Richard come to play? she asks Of course says Mummy Pig. Yippee, cheers Pepper. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Rebecca and Richard arrive. Richard has brought his brand new toy car. And George has his toy. Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr, growls George. Pepper and George get out their musical toys and make a lot, lots of noise. He he laughs Peppa very proud of herself. Hooray to Re Rebecca and Richard. Now Susie Sheep has arrived. And Mummy Pig has made lunch for everyone. Gobble gobble mmm. Delicious. Burp. Burps Pepper, excuse me. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> it stopped raining, says Mummy Pig. Let's take the leftover bread and feed the ducks. Shall we give him carrots? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. I think the ducks would prefer bread. Smiles Mummy Pig. It's not quack, says George. <coughs> Jumping up and down. Pepper, George, says Mummy Pig. Let, let Daddy put on your rain boots first. Let, yes, George, says Pepper. If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. We're going to see the ducks. We're going to see the ducks, sings Pepper. George, Susie, Rebecca and Richard will join in very loudly. Ho, ho, laughs Daddy Pig. What a lovely song. But you don't have to sing it quite so loud. Hello, Mrs. Duck, cries Pepper. <coughs> Throwing some crumbs. I hope you're hungry. It's Richard's first time feeding the ducks, and he's a bit scared. Don't be scared, Richard, says Pepper. They won't hurt you. Watch me. Pepper shows Richard how to feed the ducks. Quack, 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 shouts Richard. Dinosaur. Yeah. 
shouts George. Goo! Hee <laughs> Silly George, laughs Pepper. You always say dinosaur for everything. Why don't you find some bloody puddles to jump in, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> Yippee, Pepper shouts. Splish, splash. <coughs> Everyone is having a wonderful, noisy time jumping and splashing. Here is Daddy Dog and his mummy. Daddy Dog jumps in a great big puddle. Squelch. Oops, he splashed Daddy Pig's glasses. Oh dear, says Daddy. Now Daddy will be grumpy. I am not grumpy, says Daddy Pig. How about a nice game of hide and seek, suggests Mummy Pig. <coughs> Yippee, shouts Pepper. I'm brilliant at seeking. <coughs> Everyone hides while Pepper covers her eyes and counts to ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. George isn't very good at hiding. He stands by a tree with his eyes closed. Pepper thinks this is very funny and decides to surprise him very quickly. She creeps up behind him. Snort, grunts Pepper loudly. <laughs> oh dear. George is very surprised and drops Mr. Dinosaur into a muddy puddle. George starts to cry. <coughs> Sorry, George, says Pepper. <coughs> All the parents have come to collect the children. It's time to go home. Goodbye, everyone, cheers, Pepper. Everyone waves goodbye. Ho, ho, chuckles Daddy. Peace at last. It's time for Pep and George to go to bed. First, we brush their teeth. Now let's have a nice, quiet bedtime story, says Mummy Pig. What shall we read? asks Daddy Pig. Can we have one all about music? asked Pepper. I love music. <coughs> Daddy begins a bedtime story. It's about two very noisy piggies playing their very noisy musical instruments. Pepper, George and even Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Joining in all the action. Grrr! Roar! Growls George. He <laughs> he! Laughs Pepper. <laughs> Pepper and George are a little bit sleepy. George starts to feel asleep first. That wasn't a very quiet day, giggles Pepper, yawning. No, it was a very noisy day, Pepper. But Pepper is already fast asleep. Oh. 
And that's it from today's book. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Super Noisy Sound Book with 18 amazing sounds. I'm sure you all would have loved this book. And if you do, please consider subscribing so you can explore some of the more amazing books we have. So goodbye for now and see you next time. Today we are going to read Peppa Pig Talent Show. And this is also a sound book with 18 brilliant sounds all here. Come, let's read. Peppa Pig's Talent Show Sound Book. <laughs> Peppa and George are going to a talent show. They can't wait. Have you got everything? Said us, Mummy Pig. Nearly, says Peppa. I just need to put on my boots. George nods. He is bringing his xylophone. <laughs> The theatre is very busy. Everyone has come to watch the talent show. Daddy Pig opens the door. Listen, I can hear music. Hurry, Daddy, says Peppa. We don't want to miss the start. Daddy, Pig's, Dad, Daddy Pig finds their tickets when they all sit down. Miss Rabbit steps out onto the stage. Hello, she says, shaking her tambourine. Are you ready to sing, dance and have some fun? A talent is something you like doing and good at, said Miss Rabbit. Our first talented performer is Madam Gazelle. Madison, Madam Gazelle plays her electric guitar. It's very noisy. Thank you, everyone, she says. It is Pedro Pony's turn next. He is dressed up as a magician. I am going to use magic to make Danny disappear, he says. Please close your eyes. Woo, says Pepper and her friends. Closing her eyes. Pedro quickly puts a blanket over Danny Dog's head. He waves his hand. Now open your eyes, says Pedro. Danny has just disappeared. Freddy Fox leaps up, but I can see his feet. He shouts. Everyone gasps. Danny is hiding underneath the blanket. Wasn't that fun, says Miss Rabbit. Now let's have a big cheer for Mr. Bull, Freddy Fox and Zoe Zebra. Zoe plays the maracas. Mr. Bull blows into a big brass music yeah. instrument. What's that? gasps Pepper. It's called a tuba. Zoe and Mr. Bull play on. Freddy smiles and waves. What's, what's that talent? <laughs> Freddy lifts up a silver triangle. At the end of the song, he hits it. Everybody claps. Well done, Freddy. Suji Sheep comes on next. That's my best friend, says Pepper. My talent is blowing bubbles, says Susie. She dips a stick into some bubble mixture and blows. A big bubble appears. The audience gasps. Thank you, Susie, says Miss Rabbit. And now for someone with a sporty talent. That's me, cries Mandy Mouse. She bounces the basketball up and down the stage. Mandy yeah. finishes bouncing and the audience gives her a big clap. Daddy Pig stands up. Follow me, George, he whispers. You're next. Good luck, says Pepper. <coughs> Hello again, says Miss Rabbit. It's time to introduce our youngest performer, George. Pepper and Mummy Pig are getting ready to cheer. Oh, cries Pepper. Where is he? Everyone gasps. The stage is empty. George is hiding behind the curtain. He's feeling a little bit shy. 
Would you like me to go first? Says Daddy Pig. George nods. Daddy Pig goes on on stage. He plays the drums. George loves Daddy Pig's drumming. He comes out with his xylophone. The audience cheers. Hooray! Well done, George, cries Pepper. Daddy Pig finishes his song, but George keeps on playing. Time to come off now, says P- P- Daddy Pig, picking him up. Wah, cries George. Thank you. The audience claps. Thank you, George and Daddy Pig, says Miss Rabbit. Wendy Wolf is ready for her turn. My talent is howling, she says proudly. Ooh! Ooh, says Pepper. Uh, says Pepper and her friends. Everyone, everybody in the theatre claps loudly. What an unusual talent. We are going to read George's potty. Peppa and Susie Sheep are having a tea party at Peppa's house. Would Teddy like some tea? asks Susie. Suddenly, sniff, sniff. Oh, says Susie. What's that smell? Poo, poo, says George. Mummy calls Peppa. George needs the potty. It's a little late for that, says Mummy Pig, sniffing. Hmm. Let's get you cleaned up, George. Yay, cries George. Mummy says, Peppa, why can't George use the toilet like I do? He's a bit little for that, replies Mummy Pig. First, he needs to learn how to use the potty. I used to sit on the potty like this, George, says Peppa, using Teddy to show him. George, next time you need to go, call the magic word, potty, says Mummy Pig. Potty. Says George. Eh. Cheer, Peppa and Susie. Peppa, Susie, and George are pretending to be giants. Fee for foam. Cries Peppa. I smell the smell of ya. Fresh, George. He 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 he, says George, having to hide. Peppa soon finds George's hiding place. Got you, she says. We. Says George, giggling. Daddy calls Peppa. George needs the party. Remember George? Says Daddy Big. When you need to poo poo or wee wee, just to say party. Peppa starts to sing. The magic word is party. So when you go to go, call out for your party. The magic word is party. Party. George calls. Well then, George. Says Peppa, just like that. Party, George cries again. Party. Oh, says Daddy Pig, chuckling. I think George actually wants his party. Yay. Now George is almost grown up, says Peppa. Just like me, everyone. Cheers! Hooray! Everyone loves learning to use the party. Everyone loves learning to use the party. George loves learning to use the party.
Hope you like watching this video. Please subscribe to watch more videos.